Oh, hello neighbors. My name is Blaine Fontana. This is going to be a little brief studio tour at my unit in Portland, Oregon for the Inner Space Project. Come on in, bienvenidos, welcome in. Oh, hi, Nikki. So as you can see, this unit appears very lived in and worked in. And that's because I have now been here a little over 10 years. We lovingly call this the uh, treehouse, as it is being an adult and still painting and goofing off. Uh, having a career uh, is what's just very fun parallel to be imaginative and goof off in this tree house. So I'm gonna try to focus on just little elements here, which there's numerous little narratives, but uh, one of the most proudest little design achievements I'd say in the last, you know, kind of 17 years of my career are, uh, are directing and co-editing all of these incredible books for Zero Plus Publishing, The Heroes and Villains Project, Andrew Hem, Sage Vaughn, Nathan Oda, whoops, we don't, that's mine. We don't need to focus on that. Above, Granddaddy Mark Dean Vecca. I'm looking around here. This is my first wood sculpture, a very exper experimental wood sculpture I did back in 2009, which has now been pretty much a catalyst of numerous other wood sculptures I've done now. Uh, for, as far as commissions and insoles around the world. And I'm so thankful I've been able to keep that one. In addition, we're talking about, I mean, I, you know, like Arbor, uh, Arbor So and Skateboards did a ton of custom artwork and licensed graphics for them along with Armada. So my career just lands in places already like sculpture and licensing. <clears throat> And we'll come back to the, the fun little organized file over there as we walk to the studio. But as you can see, so this, so this unit's about a thousand square feet and it's nestled in this historical uh, North Coast Sea Building, which is over a hundred years old, uh, that has over about 40 units in it. And it's all just zoned for commercial workspace only and there's about four stories here and I have the privilege of rubbing shoulders and hanging out and seeing uh, geez, uh, other creatives like AJ Fossick and Southern Cells are or even uh, the, the James Knife brand crew that you know I've, I've aligned myself with and and have done little fun video projects with and uh, but I mean there's also ceramicists and photographers there's there's even been a uh, uh, body armor studio in here, but shoe designers, I mean, it's everything in here. So this building breathes and pulses and sweats creativity here. And it's, it's just so wonderful to be in this unit. So yeah, I guess about thousand square feet, it has about 18 some foot ceilings. It's all old growth timber in here. I love, love uh, art books. I, uh, I basically do not allow myself to go into any uh, premier or kind of you know, high-end art book store, which barely exists any, anymore today, uh, but only walk in there with cash and we'll, and we'll walk out with just those books. And though that is my personal tactile internet Google research reference area. People always ask me, what am I working on right now? At any given time, I'm working on probably from about six to 12 projects. Right now, I, these are probably the most paramount projects I'm trying to finish. These are about, these are four of nine pieces that have been finished for a hot, uh, a luxury condo building that is about to open, maybe, 
in about a month or two that will have all these pieces installed at the end of the hallway on each of the nine floors. And the theme was just to focus on Northwest critters. So, trash pandas, obviously. Love them, like them. Red wing tip blackbird. They usually hang on those, hang on those cool uh, protected wetland estuary corn dogs. Crusty tufted to puffin. And the big boy, big boy deer. And uh, here's, I'm working on the rest of the five. Nice little black bear. All my bears I paint often end up, I always call them Cletus because they always, when I finish them, they look like they're, they're honey drunk or something, so. But this is one of these little modular stations here in my studio where you can see it is full of supplies, uh, full of different media. Wow. And brushes I love working with, uh, my favorite ones, but I work with many different brands, but the synthetic Windsor Newton red handle brushes I love. Aerosol, I prefer working with Montana Black. I learned to push paint around with acrylic with Liquitex brand. But with every piece, every project, I'm constantly mixing and whipping up custom colors that I'm archiving. And how graphic my work is, I have to archive and schedule all these paints in case something <laughs> does go awry or, you know, in, in, in the process of doing this, these pieces that get scratched or there's a paint that falls on, I will have to repaint these. So each project has a scheduled system to it. So, for those of you who are not familiar with what I do, I, I am a mirrorless. I do sculpture, wood sculpture work. I do site-specific installations and sculpture work. I do a lot of high-end graphic design, 2D work, and art direction. So at any given time, it could be anything that's going on here in the studio. You know. As you walk in here, this little tier area is the, there's, there's Nikki Bell Fontana. There's my shot dog. And I would, I would say that I spend just as much of my time, if not more here than I do actually producing work, just managing a business and also just creating work, working on proposals, hammering out designs and schematics on my little indoor Death Star station here, which is actually two computers. It's my it's my old G5 along with a brand new state-of-the-art uh, solid state drive, maxed out RAM iMac as well. So I basically, I'm, I'm bouncing back and forth between two systems or two servers, if you will. And the reason why I, that I continue with this kind of setup is because a lot of the projects I'm doing, which are murals, are actually digital output murals that require about a 30 gigabyte file that needs to be managed. And so I'll paint half of those here in house, shoot those on a, on a nice Canon camera, import those, and then blend those with a digital texture or shot background and then shoot those out. As you could you saw earlier, bamboo is probably is by far my favorite plant. So that's my little window to outdoor indoor outside. And as you can see upstairs here in the uh, the third the third mezzanine this has been a hot desk uh, area for uh, I have other temporary creatives that have come in the studio uh, for contract work uh, for 
design consultation or just someone who just needs to do a quick little individual co you know, contract project. And so that's a quick little hot bet sometimes I run out. But as you can see, it's become an aerosol storage, which is, I'd say only a, a third of my the aerosol materials or the aerosol inventory I have, which is over my friend Jeremy Nichols' garage. <laughs> can we talk about here? Some other materials over here. This would be great. Oh, well, wait. <laughs> Jesus? Sorry. Phone hasn't worked in over 2,000 years. Uh, here's this little funky kitchenette area. And again, just narratives and little totems stories each one of these little bits here are from another artist or pieces I've picked up on my travels that I've added to this little area the, the bar slab I like to highlight this this is great the bar slab table here is from 1950 or so from a pioneer square dive bar in downtown Seattle and like the old tap holes here and cigarette burns everywhere came in as a 36 foot hole long wood slab and installed this thing and love it. Uh, many of you will probably be familiar with this in my work, but for those who are not, uh, you know, my work is very hyper graphic and organic. And it looks like if a painting and a vector graphic got together, this is what happens. And so, you know, I basically will make my own graphics on silk screens and do like a one pull on my paintings. These are actually, these are actually plants I clipped from where I grew up on Bainbridge Island, uh, where my brother and sister now live, but these are actually, uh, yeah, plants I was very intimate with and uh, scanned and vectorized and burnt on those screens. So I'm a bit, these are my beloved little Montana acrylic pens amongst other little brands but predominantly all different pen nib whips refills custom mixtures well, this is just another one of these materials that i use in my work that create the the vibe uh my graphic work sometimes all right People always ask what this is, and no one of you believes me until I tell the story. This is my dog, Zeus, who many knew when I especially lived in LA for 10 years. He was a, he was a gallery fixture and a barbecue fixture. And uh, the only way I figured, I, I, well, I figured, I mean, I knew how to, because I'd honor him the, the best was to actually have him articulated. And, so when I put him down, I had I had him dropped off at this taxidermist. And this is an amazing photo by Tatiana Wells that we did in the studio, which was out in the, in the corner when we first walked in. That's how we just got the studio. But where you see that living room area, that's where this photo was taken. And that was just a nice little warm-up photo. But that's the only way I could figure out how to honor my dog. One last thing I probably want to mention real quick is these latches sets. These are all these rub off graphics that are very unique into my work that people see that often people think are silk screens, but these are all outdated, no longer made rub off graphic system letters that were created before desktop publishing and that's a finite supply of those that I use in my pieces like just like the piece that was panned down on that nine that would be a great example um, I just like to thank everyone for just taking the time to watch this supporting the inner space project 
please don't forget to donate to this project and buy raffle tickets and support this whole project because we're all doing this for the village, for the community, and for the love of art and to share uh, a sacred space and uh, insightful and, and, and humble moments that we usually would never ever do as creative. So thank you for taking the time to watch this. Respect.